Okay, we're we're back now um, uh, to the, with the same data, uh, the UN Human Development Indicators, and now we're going to do the simple regression uh, where we left off last time. We produced this scatter plot over here in this tab. Uh, there's our scatter plot. Let's resize it a bit if we want. Um, but that shows the relationship between mean years of education and life expectancy. It shows the positive. Uh, pattern that we uh, we anticipated and it um, um, uh, we imposed the uh, regression line so we could see sort of the direction of the relationship in a, you know, a little more clearly but now now we're gonna we're gonna actually do the regression analysis to uh, the simple regression analysis that that gives us a numerical summary of this pattern um, and it'll give us the y equals a plus bx equation, the a and the b being the main kind of coefficients of the analysis. It'll give us some other output too, like r squared and a test of statistical significance, which will tell us if this if this pattern <clears throat> is strong enough to be um, uh, not to be attributable to chance. But we can just look at it. This and see in, in some ways that it's a fairly strong pattern. I, I doubt this is due to chance or the kind of pattern that would be likely to be due to chance. So um, we can probably, even without getting the formal significance test, guess that that's not going to be, that, that, that it is going to be a statistically significant relationship, which means just that it's more than uh, what we would expect from just a chance scattering of the plots. But anyway, to get to the uh, to do the regression analysis, we need to um, uh, make sure that Excel has this these extra tools added in, and so the typical default uh, installation doesn't have them. So if I go to this File tab over here and I look under Options, I get this box that looks like this. Oh, you probably can't see that. Let me bring it down here. Okay, and under this. Uh, under this box there are these add-ins and I want to click on that add-ins and the first one on the list is this analysis tool pack. I'm going to click on that and let's see it's not really showing in the video but down here there's a go button. I'm going to hit go and it shows me this uh, pop-up box and there's the analysis tool packs. They're not, they're not checked and I need to Check them. I just check both of them. I'm not sure why I need both of them, but I think if you just check the first one, it works as well. But then I um, I check them and I hit OK. And once I do that, if I go to this data tab up here, suddenly there's a new button over here called data analysis. And under that data analysis button, there's a whole bunch of um, statistical tools. And one of those, these are in alphabetical order one of those is regression right here and that's the one we're going to use but i can just close that for now okay just like with the scatter plot we need um okay we're gonna basically kind of do the same thing highlight the variables and then run the analysis uh and um so let's see how that works um we've got again mean years of schooling is our uh independent variable and Life expectancy is a dependent variable, so um, I can't. I don't want to start by highlighting them. That's the way we did it with the scatter plot, but I'm I can't do that. I'm going to have to go to data analysis first. Um, go to the regression option, hit that, and then hit OK. Okay, and then I get this window here. Now it's in this window that I want to enter the x and the y uh, columns of data. So they call it the x y uh, the input Y range, the input X range. In other words, what's the range of data that represents Y? What's the range of data that represents X? This little colorful button here means um, take me into the spreadsheet and let me highlight the data. So I'm going to click on that. Now notice this is Y. So I'm going to, it's very important to get the right variable into the Y range and the right variable into the X range. So I'm going to click on that button and that'll take me into the data, you know, basically just take me back here click on it it takes me back here and that's the Y I want it, I want the Y so Y is 
y, the dependent variable's life expectancy. So I'm going to highlight that. So it looks a little different. It's not the same usual kind of highlighting. It's this sort of um, flashy, flashy dotted line. Uh, I'll click back on this colorful button. So I've highlighted the y range. Now I'm going to click where the window says the input x range. I'll click on that. Now I'm going to go back. My x variable is schooling. Now notice I'm highlighting the label as well as the data. You should do that so that the output you get is labeled it makes it easier to read okay I'm going to highlight just the data not the empty cells below it you got to stop right at the edge uh, then I click back here so I've got X and Y highlighted properly I need to click 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 this label box because that's um, uh, that's the that's telling Excel that I included the labels which I which is good to do Okay, and that's it. So just highlight the X range, highlight the Y range, click this label option, labels option, and then and then hit OK and watch what happens. Okay, there. It opened up a new um, sheet over here. So I'm just going to relabel that sheet. Simple, simple progression, right? And that's, that's the output. Now it's a little complicated when people first see this it seems a little confusing I'm going to stretch out some of these boxes um, over here I'm going to stretch out a few more they're not all visible it's it's got a bit of a glitch in it notice it, it produces if you notice these two they're the same it duplicates these uh, for some odd reason so I'm just going to delete those columns I don't really need two versions. Those are the confidence intervals. I don't need two versions of the confidence intervals. Okay, so this is the output you're going to um, need to interpret. Now, the problem here is that Excel is giving you all kinds of, all kinds of numerical um, information related to this regression. There are 121 countries. Um, this ANOVA table uh, it's not really necessary. Uh, in fact, I would, just to simplify things, I might even suggest just deleting that out. You really don't need that ANOVA table. Uh, in this top output, the thing we're going to mostly pay attention to is this R squared, uh, R square. Uh, and let's see, now let's uh, let's look at this. Let me stretch this box a bit so I can. Okay, so here and here is our intercept in the equation. That's A. And here is the mean years of schooling in our equation. That's B. So let me just write it, write it up here just so you can see it. So Y equals A plus B X, right? That's our basic equation. So this is a and this is b right so essentially this this is telling us that y equals you know 52.47 right uh 52.47 plus 2.2 well, let's call it 2.30 times x okay uh the standard error now the this is the the rest of this here all of this here is statistical inference uh, meaning that well, this is the part that tells you to what extent the relationship is stronger than what would be expected from chance um, the standard error is if you take the coefficient divided by the standard error you get the t statistic and the t statistic um, you look if it's generally the rule is if the t statistic is greater than two, the, the the relationship is statistically significant. By the way, I should point out that the whole significance test on the intercept really doesn't mean anything. We don't really we don't really need to pay attention to that. The significance test on the slope on b here um, is important. And I mean that's the main the main uh, significance test word. So we're interested in this 
coefficient is it statistically significant the standard error we represent sort of the noise in the data we this is like the signal we divide the signal by the noise how large is the signal relative to the noise that's the t ratio or the t statistic it's quite quite large much much greater than two um, now this excel when a number is really small excel put it into scientific notation if you don't like reading it like that what i would suggest is highlight this uh, format the cell as a number and here you can you can just start to look at it just add some decimal points until you until you start seeing something whoa it's a small one even out to 30 wow okay i have to stretch it out a lot okay so there <clears throat> you can see that uh well with the t statistic of now again the intercept doesn't really matter but the t statistic even the t statistic of 11 its p value is extremely extremely low and the way to interpret this so here here's the rule um greater than two is statistically significant and then here uh, um, you want it to be uh uh, less than uh, uh, 0.05. Those are the general rules. Let me let me just uh, center that. So here here's the idea. If the t statistic you want you want a t uh, you want a t t greater than two, and you want a p that's less than 0.05. If uh, to be statistically significant. So you can see that. This is this t is definitely greater than two. This p is way way lower than 0.05. So all of that is to say that this slope here is is statistically significant. Okay. Um, okay. Now, uh, but that in some ways the statistical significance is not the main thing. I mean, in some ways the statistical significance tells you that it's not noise. It's not um, you know. It's not just chance variation and it's worth trying to interpret so let's interpret this slope it's 2.29 or round it off to 2.3 as we did up here 2.3 so what does that mean it's okay so here here's what it means it's it's the the slope is the the slope is the uh, let me write it down here it's the change in y given a uh, one unit increase increase in x okay so that's what that's what this is so uh, that means that if we move up in, uh, one in x how much does y change now x is remember x is schooling it's years of education and y is years of life expectancy so what this really means is that it, if a society is increases one year in average schooling in average in mean years of schooling um, life expectancy will go up by 2.3 years which is quite a quite a lot so um, you know um, so boosting the average education level of a, of a society is associated with uh, an additional two 2.3 two and a third years roughly of uh, additional life expectancy and um, Okay, and that's that describes in a sense that just describes that describes the slope of this uh, scatter right here. If we move up from uh, let's say from six years of education to seven, we move up. As so we go up one year in education, we move up two point three years in life expectancy. Um, okay, so that's that's the simple regression and. Um, uh, next, we're going to do the, the multiple regression.